This is the experiment to determine the dielectric constant of the dielectric material used in the capacitor. This is the circuit board. Here we connect the battery eliminator. This is a toggle switch. It can be moved up for charging, moved down for discharging. At the center, there is no charging or discharging. It's in the halt position. Here we connect the resistors. Here we connect the capacitor. And the voltmeter is connected across the capacitor. This is the 12 volt DC battery eliminator, capacitor, a resistor, connecting wires, stop clock, and digital DC voltmeter. Now we shall make the connections. Red is positive and black is negative. We, we shall connect red to red and black to black. Now we shall connect the resistor. While connecting the electrolytic capacitor, make sure about the polarity of the capacitor. There is a negative symbol. The lead next to the negative symbol is the native terminal. So connect the native terminal of the capacitor to the black terminal on the circuit board and the positive terminal to the red terminal in the circuit board. To measure the voltage across the capacitor, connect the voltmeter. The red terminal of the voltmeter is connected to the positive terminal of the capacitor and the black terminal of the voltmeter is connected to the negative terminal of the capacitor. The, now the circuit has been made. To start the experiment, plug in the battery eliminator and the digital DC voltmeter. Switch on the circuit. There is a residual charge in the capacitor. To remove the residual charge, you can use the discharging wire to discharge the capacitor by connecting the wire across the terminals of the capacitor. Now the voltage across the capacitor is zero. To charge the capacitor, simultaneously start the stop clock and move the toggle switch to the charging position. Now the capacitor is charging. For every 10 seconds, record the voltage across the capacitor up to next 120 seconds. Now the time is 20 seconds and voltage is 9 volt. Thirty seconds is 11 volt. So this is continued till 120 seconds. After 120 seconds, stop the stop clock and reset it. Allow the capacitor to reach saturation. Once the capacitor reaches the saturation, we can now discharge by moving the toggle switch to the discharging position and starting the stop clock simultaneously. Record the voltage across the capacitor for every 10 seconds for the next 120 seconds. Twenty seconds, the voltage is six point three. 120 seconds switch off the circuit and remove the connections plot a graph of voltage against time for both charging and discharging on the same graph sheet as shown in the figure from the point of intersection of two curves 
the perpendicular onto the time axis to determine t half. Use t half in the formula to determine the dielectric constant of the dielectric material used in the capacitor.